Congratulations on the promotion, the board, Knight. Sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Hey. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. Proctor Quinlan. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Dance and Elder Maxim. I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Daz and Elder Maxim. Medical report, Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore, exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us.
How did it look up there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. I refuse to rest until every one of these nightmares is eliminated. Stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. Finally stop by. So where are you going, Knight? We need to complete your right, medical exam. Right. Everything looks nominal, and you didn't scuttle the ship. Captain nice Kate. Ah, oh, sure. you're back. Good. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Wouldn't vault Tex screening process have caught this already? vault Tex screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? 
have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Captain Cade. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Yeah, see what's wrong with me, Doctor. Well, to fix the problem, That was it. Sounds good. Captain. Looking for medical assistance, soldier? Any news out there, doctor? Got nothing. Sorry. What? Any news out there, doctor? Got nothing. Actually, I need some supplies for my next stop. Scribes have been stocking us up. Help you. Good, you're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwen. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics, if it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight.
Hey. You point, I shoot. Be glad to share the burden. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak yeah. is mine. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. You can't fix it. I can't fix so, it. So, you're the new you're recruit the I heard about. Your way to a uh, not yeah. what I was expecting. Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Come on. If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. I'm not really looking for sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. If Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kick them open. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Building something? Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't find it. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. 
The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Carry food with me, or you'll end up eating some Proctor pretty Tegan. questionable things you're to looking stay to pick alive. a fight? I'll help you end it. I'll take a look. Be my guest. a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. If you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Tree 142. I can sum up living on the Pridwin in four words. I miss field assignments. Don't get me wrong, the research we're doing is exciting stuff. But life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse, the soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants seem scholarly. I'm gonna speak to Proctor Quinlan. Field scribes cannot have it this bad. Human-looking scents are the worst. They hide in plain sight.
now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? What do these shells do? The Fat Man Launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man-portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one of them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed.